Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we're watching Nomad of Nowhere, episode 9, Compass. Um, last time we met the champion of the governor, well not, not actually met, we saw him. Um, and Scout and the Nomad are no now on a team. While Toth is looking for the Nomad and trying not to think too much about Scout, apparently. Um, yeah, we, we have a few parties now. Um, now we have three parties, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that Scout and the Nomad would meet up. Because it was kind of teased from the beginning. And now we're actually gonna go into the last stretch of episodes. We only have four episodes left. Um, this is the third third. The last third? Yeah, last third. Um, yeah, uh, last episode was called End of the Line and that was also the location they were going. Um, so Maybe they are gonna arrive at the town, maybe, that's called End of the Line. And the champion is following them and stuff. So let's jump in. So how I really want this to end um, is Toth and Scout making up, not fighting anymore. Toth seeing that the Nomad is a cool guy. Uh, the champion to be beaten, probably. Maybe that's gonna happen soon, maybe not. Um, but there's probably still gonna be a few things left uh, after the season. I, I don't know. I think they're gonna make a second season, maybe not. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna see um, if there's a lot of questions still unanswered after... The next few episodes but first we're gonna watch the episode called compass which doesn't tell us anything at all because they're like wandering around a lot in this show so it could be everything like every person <coughs> so yeah um it doesn't tell us much so let's start in three, two, one, and go. It's the Nomad and Scout. Hmm. It's so hot. Oh, thank goodness. A place to rest and... I really dislike oh. these billboards. Well, at least the billboards are there. Now you have a little How bit of in the shadow. World is he still chasing us? Sorry. I just don't know how much farther I can make it. What he's really after is you. So you're saying you want mm. me to leave? Well, it would be so safer for her. Flip? No, thank you. Oh. You're trying to protect me. Yeah. Well, that don't make a lick of sense, seeing as I'm still technically trying to catch you. All I know is if the champion catches up to you, it'll be bad news for us both. So it looks like you're stuck with me for the time being. We'll just have okay. to sort out whatever happens later, later. And here's the champion. Are they gonna try to catch him? Oh no, they're just gonna try to get away. Good luck getting up now, Buster. He's gonna get up. Ah, no, I didn't mean it. Come on, we gotta lose this fella. Well, well, howdy, Tra. 
traveler. You running from your problems? What did you just say to me? I said oh. you're running from your problems. <laughs> Don't say that to talk. They look awful. What happened? That there is entropy, my friend. The slow decay of life catches up with us all eventually. Huh. That looks more like a train crash to me. Yeah, don't Possibly. be that philosophical. We'll agree to disagree. Can anyone tell me what happened to this train? It was a lunacy. The nomad was aboard. Yeah, I seen him too. I didn't seen him, but I wished I did, because then I'd have something to say right now. I promise all of you I'll bring him wow. to justice. But to do that, I need to know where he went after he crashed your train. Crashed the train? No. It was the nomad that done saved us. Yeah, I seen him do it. Hmm. He took out those bandits. I didn't seen him do it, but... Look, clearly you're all confused by your injuries. I don't care what you think you saw. I just need to know where he went. Ta. Why do you... That's important to... information. Yeah, maybe I didn't see him after all. It doesn't matter why. He's a criminal, and I'm going to bring him in. The, the only criminals I seen were those bandits, and that big burly fella would crash the train. Did the big burly fella catch <laughs> the nomad? Uh, Captain, maybe we should ease up a bit. No. Yeah. Chase them off. Them? <laughs> yes, the nomad and the girl. Oh, oh. The girl. You're hurting me. Huh? Uh, this feels a bit south of our normal motor compass. What? Girl. A little. I think, I think we can lose him somewhere. Yeah, um... And get out of this blazing mm. sun. Toth, just don't lose control. And yeah, um, you can interpret compass as moral compass too. Yeah. <laughs> If Paul could see me now. I grew up fixing stuff like this for him. But I always found a way to mess it all up. I was just hmm. a burden, even after I was taken in at the Oasis. But despite all my blunders, Toth gave me a chance. Made me her spittoon girl. Don't <laughs> sound very glamorous, I know, but she always treated me right. Until I got in her way. She wasn't always so angry. I wonder if she saw you here helping me, helping those people on the train, if it would make a difference. Well, Why are you helping me? Maybe if she saw it, it would be different, but she doesn't want to listen to those people who saw it. You know, I've been wondering the same thing. Hello. How does he keep finding us? We haven't been properly introduced. You should always know the man you're fighting. I'm the champion of the Kilosea. Do you know what that means? <laughs> it means I'm undefeated in the most dangerous arena in the world. So you can run all you want, Nomad. But at some point, that road's going to run out. And then, it'll just be you and me. And after that, probably just me. Okay. You should also know that the same trick never works twice on me. Uh-oh. Poor Rogue. And now they're on different sides. Oh. Good job, Skip. Sure, because that always happens. Well, he's trying. Did you find a way out of here, buddy? Hmm. Rope worm. Oh. Hmm. You're magical, but not who I'm looking for. That's better. Okay, yeah. It's it's showing him where something magical is, I guess. 
This is getting old, Nomad. Where I come from, the runners don't last long. It's kill or be killed in Toro's arena. It's the same out here, too. You just don't realize it yet! I was hoping the legends meant you were a true warrior, not a coward. Well, he's neither of both, I guess. He doesn't fight, but that doesn't mean he's a coward. Like I say, you and me. He doesn't want to fight. No matter where you hide, I'm always going to know where you are. Yeah, but you don't know where I am. And now he lost the compass. Yay! I, Success? I did, it. I did it. Sand and shade, I did it. Did you see that? Go scout. I snappy one-liner and everything. I beat the champion! Does that make me the champion now? I, I mean, well, obviously I, I couldn't have done it without you. Now let's get out of here. Bounty hunters, dandelions, champions, carnies. Where all Just others shut up. Failed, who would have thought the Spittoon girl would be the one to apprehend the dreaded nomad? Certainly not Red Manuel. Red Manuel? Well... What are you doing here? There was no way that idiota Doth was ever going to catch the Nomad. So, I followed someone clearly better suited for the job. Only to find the champion vanquished and you claiming his prize. My prize. Yeah. Red, you don't understand. Right. No, you don't understand. I'm tired of playing second fiddle to some Nidala imbecile. Which is why today will be Red Manuel's day. Not yours. So step aside. You're not bringing him in. Nobody is. Excuse me? Hmm. He ain't done nothing to nobody, but we've been tearing yeah, no. half of nowhere to hand him over to a fella who's happy to let us all drink sand lest we give him exactly what he wants. And all he ever wants is more. I just can't go that way no more. Nowhere could do with another friendly face. And not the kind you see on billboards. A real one. Wow. Scout. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think this so. Is a huge weight of Red Manuel's chest. But and actually here, I thought I was going to have to make up some story about how you betrayed the dawn and then <laughs> you did it. What fortune, eh? Hmm. But actually Scout now realized. <laughs> Adios, spittoon girl. Nope. That, that didn't just happen, right? That, that didn't happen. I mean, it can't happen. Like, he, he, just, no. Just, just don't kill him. Freaking. The, I mean, you, you can't kill him because the the show is named after him he's the main character in some way he can't be dead right but i mean <sighs> shit but if what if he's really dead? Like, well, then there won't be a second season, I guess, if he's dead. Maybe they're gonna, like, revive him or something? But how, how did this happen? I 
can't. Like, fuck this. I mean, he can't die. That's that's just. No, no, I I don't believe it. And if he's yet, if he's dead, they're gonna revive him at some point. That's. I mean, it's gonna be a problem because Don Paragon wanted him alive. Um, so Rep Manuel is not going to get what he wants. God, and and now my. I'm starting to tear up. Why? I, I don't even understand why. Okay, we're, we're just gonna... Shit, I have to wait at least... Like... I, I cannot wait a week. I mean, I could binge watch, but I have to do so much... Stuff. That's a fucking cliffhanger! And I thought that was only like other Rooster Teeth content that had those fucking cliffhangers. But no! No Man of Nowhere has to have a freaking cliffhanger too! Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a fun show. It's a really, really fun show. Shooting the main character in the chest. I'm not gonna switch my setting right now because I think I said enough. And I'm just gonna end this video here, try to calm myself a little and then jump into Gravity Falls and hope that this is not a depressing Gravity Falls episode that I'm recording today. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. On this note, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!